Pax Mars. And I was trying to bring up an app on my phone the other day, and this pops on. This is the only reason I know about this, is uh, I was trying to put something, open up an app on my phone, and this cop comes on instead. Wuhan Flu Alert, New York. For those of you who don't know, I won't use that C word. I might say coronavirus once in a while, but I won't use the C word. It's politically derived. Stop the spread of the Wuhan flu. New York needs each one of us to do our part. One way you can help yourself and your community is by participating in our newly launched mobile contact tracing app, Wuhan Flu Alert New York. Uh, that is a lie, because, uh, all you're doing is leaving yourself wide open to trouble is what you're doing. That is a lie. Liar, liar pants on fire. Wuhan Flu Alert New York is a voluntary anonymous exposure notification smartphone app. You'll get an immediate, you'll get an alert if you're in close contact with someone who tests positive for the Wuhan flu. Knowing about a potential exposure allows you to self-quarantine and immediately get tested and reduce the potential exposure risk to your family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, and others. You're just leaving yourself open to trouble. I've never seen anything like this. This is trouble. more you people who download Wuhan flu in New York, the more effective it will be Help protect your community while maintaining your privacy. The free mobile apps available to anyone 18 or older who lives, works, or attends college in New York or New Jersey are available for download from Google Play and a bunch of languages. Download the first app, the free app, to your smartphone to receive an alert if you've been in close contact with someone was tested positive for the Wuhan flu. And the next thing that happens is you'll have a knock at your door. That's not going to happen, uh, <laughs> New York. This is scary. Uh, you know, it's, well, more than scary, it's terrifying, you know, especially having someone like Andrew the Tyrant running the state. I would not ever allow this on my phone, but check this out. Uh, for iPhones, iOS 12.5 or 13.7 and up, if you choose not to download the Wuhan Flu Alert in New York, you can still receive alerts on your iPhone if you've been in close contact with someone was tested positive for the Wuhan flu. You can now enable exposure notifications directly through your iPhone settings menu. Wow. I don't have an iPhone, so I don't have to worry about it ratting me out that way. There's already a million different ways they can track you, and this is one more. Please note this feature can only be enabled on devices that do not have the Wuhan Flu Alert New York apps installed. That, uh, smart, the, uh, iPhone stuff. No, this isn't going to happen. I know better than this. Years ago, I adopted the practice of paying cash for most things, and that's not good enough. So your car can rat you out if it's post-1970s. Uh, uh, your phone can rat you out where you are. When having this on your uh, phone, oh my god, that would be a freaking nightmare. You run into somebody who tested positive for the Wuhan flu, and... Next thing you know, you're knocking the door, and you have some uh, Nazi storm, Nazi-like 
stormtrooper standing at your door and saying, you will stay in your domicile for the next 14 days or the state will make you stay. You may walk around inside your own domicile, but do not sit outside at all. Oh boy, trouble with a capital T. I want to thank some Mars. Thanks for watching. Don't put this on your phone.